Hey guys, it is Wednesday. This is our beginner level mambo class. So I want to talk just for a moment before we start doing any dancing about mambo and salsa and what's the differences, right? Because that's the biggest thing. So what's the same, what's different? What's the same? Our foot patterns. What we do with our feet is exactly the same. Now that might sound confusing. How can you have two different dances with the same move? Well, let me ask you a question. You do a box step and waltz, and you do a box step and foxtrot, and you do a box step and rumba. Same step, completely different dance, styling and the way of moving. So it's simply the same thing here. The patterns, the foot patterns are interchangeable between uh, salsa and mambo. The biggest differences are mambo is on a very distinct timing. And what that timing is, is cha-cha timing without the cha-cha-cha. So in cha-cha, we dance two, three, cha-cha-cha, two, three, cha-cha-cha. In mambo, we're gonna dance two, three, cha uh, uh, two, three, cha. So we didn't have the cha-cha in there. Now, we count, the reason I told you to count them the same is because it's the same music but the tempo is different. So for those of you that have ever been to our music class, we know that mambo is the father of cha-cha. So cha-cha is just a really slow mamba that we added extra steps in. So I'm gonna bring on now for just a minute here, and we're gonna kind of show you the difference between how we look when we're doing salsa and how we look when we're doing mambo. So when we're doing salsa, salsa is very casual, loose, very soft and flowy, right? and mambo is not that at all. Mambo is gonna be a little bit more aggressive on the last step. Now, just for simplicity's sake, right? The correct timing for a mambo basic is one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Having said that, for our demonstration, at least today in today's class and patterns, I'm going to count that quick, quick, slow. Now, when we say quick, we know that has one count. And when we say the word slow, that has two counts. So if I counted this in mambo, two, one count, three, one count, four, hold one, two counts. So I'm simply going to call it quick, quick, slow, because if I start counting the numbers, we find out we know from experience in Mambo, when people are first learning Mambo, if we start counting those numbers right away, they get a little mishmashed up in our head. And right now I'm more concerned about getting you some patterns to do than I am worrying about the exact count as a beginner. So we're gonna count it as co quick, quick, slow. The difference is you're gonna see us be very aggressive, stepping very sharply onto the slow. So you're gonna see quick, quick, boom. And then there's gonna be this long pause where nothing is moving, no hip action, no feet, nothing. And that's what makes mambo very particular that way. Doom, doom, stop. A boom, boom, stop. A boom, boom, stop. A boom, boom, stop. So we want that harsh, hard freeze of the body because that's the way the music is, ex is accented in mambo. And so that's how we're going to dance it, is the way the music is. So our mambo basic, whether it's the man or the woman, is a rock step and a side step with the left, a rock step and a side step with the right. Right? It doesn't matter if I'm the man or the lady. It's exactly that same foot position. Again, just like cha-cha doing rock, step, cha, we just get rid of the cha-cha. Right? So it's a rock, step, side, and hold rock, step, side, and hold, right? So that's our mambo basic. So now and I just do a couple of those. Now, you know, in class, we always do everything flat, where everything stays the same direction. But just so you know, mambo by nature should have a slow, easy, comfortable rotation counterclockwise because it makes it easier for us to do our moves. 
we can kind of carry them off of a rock step instead of going in, stopping and having to go directly back out. That slight adjustment actually makes it easier for us to rotate. So what I was just doing was a Mambo Basic that stayed in closed position, meaning that Na and my shoulder stayed roughly parallel to each other through that whole pattern. There's no sense of the lady opening out or the man opening out, and this is important because now we're going to go to step pattern number two. Step pattern number two is a cross body lead. Now, what's the difference between a cross body lead and a basic? The answer is nothing and everything. So if you watch my feet as I do this pattern with Na, you're gonna see me go rock, step, side. Rock, step, side. So in essence, I did the same thing as I did on a basic, but I opened it up like a clamshell and then close. I can't see that, can you? I opened it up like a clamshell and then closed it up. So on the crossbody lead, I'm going to do a 90 degree turn. Quick, quick, slow, and I'm going to leave the lady there. I'm not trying to pull her past me. I'm letting her stay there. There's a delayed pass for the lady. She's not going to go by until the second measure of music as I do my back rock back, rock, and another 90 degrees. So as the man, I'm doing rock, step, 90 degree turn, rock, step, 90 degree turn, rock, step, 90 degrees, rock, step, 90 degrees. And what's important about that 90 degrees again is that I am leaving the lady here. I'm not bringing her with me. Where a moment ago when we did that turning basic, as I took that side step and I turned, you can see me bring Na with me. We're in the cross body lead. It's very important. I leave her there. And then she comes by, right? Na's part's very complicated. It's called a basic, right? Only what's going to happen is there'll be a slight variation on the feet. So when she comes out of her rock, instead of stepping sideways, chances are she's going to feel the man's movement as he opens that up and steps forward. That's perfectly fine. And then she's doing the second half of it, which is rock, step, side, right? So it may have looked more complicated than that, but it's nothing but a turning basic for the lady. Rock, step, out, rock, step, side. Right, so now you'll see now do that as we dance the pattern. <laughs> we have rock, step, she hasn't moved. Notice she's taking a small step forward because as my body opens, right, it's going to be, now she could do a side step if she wanted. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. A little more advanced dancers, we tend to exaggerate those movements a little bit, but for now, we're just going to let you move however far the man moves away from you. So she did rock step and a small step forward. Now she does a forward, a back, and a side, right? Got that? So it's a rock step coming across the man. Rock, step, and walk. Rock, step, and out. Rock, step, and walk. Rock, step, and out. Okay? Now that's a little different for those of you that have done rumba. On rumba, when we do the cross body lead, the girl does walk, walk, turn. Right? But here we're going to make that a rock step because we want that accent to happen at that moment in time. Kind of a little bit of an attack, if you will. So it's gonna go boom, boom, stop, boom, da, da, boom, boom, stop, boom, da, da. If we did it like rumba, it would look like this. Boom, boom, stop, walk, walk, turn. Didn't have as much punch to it, which is why we do it different. In rumba, we're gonna put the accent over here where the turn is. In mambo, we're gonna put the accent over here where the turn is. So that's our cross body lead. Now, the man's left hand, there are options. We can keep the hand up. When we keep the hand up, that does mean that my arm is gonna make some kind of adjustment. Many people teach the cross body lead with the hand dropping down because it's more comfortable, okay? Personally, I think you should learn how to do both. They are different skills. This one, by the way, we always know when somebody's gonna do a crossbody lead, 
because they always drop their arm, so they kind of telegraph it. So that's, for me, that's why I like leaving the arm up, because we don't telegraph beforehand what we're going to do. So the, our first step was the basic. Then we talked about the turning basic. And then what was the difference between the turning basic and the cross-body lead? Turning basic, we move together. Cross-body lead, only the man moves, then the lady moves later, and then the man closes up. So on one, they stay connected all the way through. The other, when its door opens, lady goes by, door shuts, okay? Now, why do we want a cross-body lead in Mambo? Well, because it sets us up for open break actions because the dance is fast, right? It's really the fastest of all of our Latin dances, right? So as I do the cross-body lead here, I'm going to release that hand. That's going to allow the lady to drift just a little bit away from me because her momentum as she attacks this step will cause her to go away from me, right? Now, here's a trick. When we do this next back rock, we're not going to go rock step because you'll notice we didn't have enough room. So we're going to do an active rock by changing weight and placing the foot. It's behind us, right? But we're just not shifting our weight back. So the foot goes back, rock step, but we don't shift our body away. That's super important on that cross body lead in Mambo that you don't drop your body back. Sorry. So we have what? Boom, boom, quick, quick, slow. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a rock step, which is our open break, and then we're going to lead Na to do an underarm turn. And if you have done rumba or cha-cha, this is exactly like our underarm turns in rumba and cha-cha, kind of. So we're going to do quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. So I'm going to have Na do the same move like we would in rumba or cha-cha, right? So we've done our back rock. We get to here. Now watch carefully. In rumba or cha-cha, this is what Na would do. She would step and turn. She would step and there'd be nothing else going on. No body turn. The turn happens on the next count. Cha, cha, cha. It doesn't happen on the step forward. It happens on the side step, right? Now we're talking cha-cha or rumba, right? So in those actions, cha-cha and rumba, it's walk, turn, freeze, turn, step. In Mambo, we're going to have the lady spin on the second step. So it's a whole count earlier that she does the turn. We're going to do quick, quick, slow. She steps and turns. She spins. And then, so at the end, there's nothing to do but do a weight transfer because the turn is all done. And again, when we did the cross body lead, you notice we kind of attacked. Boom, ba, ba, that action right? Had a real strong accent. So we're going to bring that spin in. Co-wick, quick, slow. Co-wick, quick. That was my fault. I led that completely in the wrong spot. Sorry, we'll, we'll just cut that out of the tape. You never saw it. Open break. Co-wick, quick, slow. Co-wick, co-wick, slow. Now what's super important for you ladies on this move is to make sure that your right elbow Your right elbow has to stay right here. It does not get to go over there. It has to stay right in front of your shoulder. And I'm going to have Na hold that so you can see the difference as she turns. Because this way, when I lead the spin, we get a nice solid connection to the lady. If she lets that arm separate out so you can see the difference between the two, what happens there is, as Na goes through the turn, we're going to go really slow. Now her elbow, now her elbow is going, and she's not. So when I go to lead for the spin, there's this very awkward position right here that that arm is getting placed in, and it tends to well, it hurts the lady, and it tends to throw the turn off her balance. But more importantly, she didn't do the turn when I let it; she just moved her hand. So it's very important when we go through that underarm turn, stop. So you see here, we can see that Na's elbow is now off to her side, right? We set that up so that it was on purpose wrong. Because right now, her elbow is supposed to be out in front of her body.
right? So now this time you're gonna see Na at that same point with her elbow out in front of her body. And that's super, imp uh, super important because we, no, 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 just stop. Okay, they just need to see that. Got it? You see at that point when she took that step, the second quick, that elbow's right in front of her. Now when I move my hand, the turn's very tight and crisp, right? So the whole pattern, we're gonna do a basic, that's step one, cross body lead, step two, and then the open break and underarm turn, step three, right? So we're doing basic, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, cross body lead, quick, quick, slow, open break, elbow stays in front, finish, and then back to a basic, right? We'll do that from this side also. Basic, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, Cross body lead, lady goes by, open break, underarm turn, and then back to a basic, tick, ta, ta, I don't bump, bump. Now at the end of that turn, right, you wanna watch Nas, she does the turn. She's gonna make sure her feet and legs, right, at the end of the turn, close all the way up, right? So this is not a sidestep at the end of this because it's a spin, there's no sidestep. So it's walk, spin, change weight. Okay, that's different than rumba or cha-cha, where when I do my turn, this leg is walking forward by, and my body turn makes it be a sidestep, right? Because if this leg was traveling forward by my body, and then just as it goes by, I turn, that's why it ends up a sidestep, right? But the body was going forward, through that action, right? That's our normal underarm turn. Boom, boom, my leg's going forward by, right? Different on the spin, because the spin is starting before my feet have collected. And they collect up at the end of the spin, right? I don't necessarily close them right as soon as I start turning. So in rumba and cha-cha, the leg's going by. In mambo, the spin is starting right here to get those feet to close. Now I didn't talk about the man's part much, but I'm just gonna do my part for this whole combination so you can see it. Back, rock, side, excuse me, forward rock. Rock, step, side, 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 rock, step, side. That was it. That's all I'm doing, just a basic action throughout. And the reason we keep that so simple is because the music is fast and the more complex we make the ladies part, the simpler we make the man's part because somebody's got to keep their head on straight. So we give the man a simpler part. Now we're going to do this one last time with the correct mambo count to it and then we're going to let you go. So we're going to bring Na back out. Okay. So the number that we are holding is what, Na? Do you remember? One. How many dances start with step one? Count one. Many. All of them. All of them except mambo, which is what screws people up because our ear is tuned. One count in waltz, one count in cha-cha, one count in rumbo, one count in foxtrot. We're so accustomed to stepping on the first count. And in mambo, that's the one we don't step on. So that's what gets people goofy. That's why we counted it quick, quick, slow. But we're going to do it with the correct timing now so you can see it. So this would be one. Two, three, four, one, 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 two, three, four. We'll do that one more time. I'm not sure if we ran out of camera there. Let's turn it around actually and go the other way. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two. Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So there you go. That's our beginner first time through Mambo Basics, the Mambo Basic, the Turning Basic, the Crossbody Lead, and the Crossbody Lead with the Open Break and Underarm Turn, which is pretty much the same as all the other dances you've done, just different rhythm. Thank you very much, you guys. Have a good one.